Hey Aries, Everlong Mystic here. Today I'm going to do a Gremlin Bell reading for you, and we're just going to take a look at the Gremlin and the Bell and get you just some information about it. Now, the Gremlin, a Gremlin Bell is basically like a bell. It's a bell that current day is hung on motorcycles to attract uh, road gremlins. Um, and then knock them out with the ringing of the bell so that the gremlins don't get on the bike and cause, you know, mechanical issues or, or what have you. So it's, I guess it's kind of to attract, I don't know if it, they're meant to attract them. I think they're meant to trap them. I don't know that they're meant to attract them. Anyways, <clears throat> we're going to take a look-see. And we can't complete the bell without a gremlin, right? So we have gremlin playing cards. So we're going to take use the gremlin playing cards in this here to see uh, see what your gremlin is. So what's this gremlin? Oh, that was quick. Oh no, he's covering his eyes. It's like that whole see no evil thing. And that's funny because um, he's sitting on two... The, the two diamonds here, just like the Four of Pentacles. Alright, so what is this about? Three of Wands. Wow. So this gremlin here, Aries, is... It's like... It's like not wanting to see the future. Oh, weird, it just started raining, too. Alright, so this kind of feels like, I mean, like, we got the Three of Wands here, and this is, like, the distance. This is the, like, plan, like planning for the future. It's, like, not wanting, somehow not wanting, wanting to plan for the future. Like, you don't want to see it. So, I don't know, it's, like, dread, almost. It's, like, is, is there something in the... Aries, is there something in the future that you're dreading? I don't know. You know what, Aries, your your gremlin feels different than the others. Um, this gremlin here feels like it is related to some kind of like milestones or something. Like it's not a gremlin that comes around very often, only when there's like major events that are coming up and and they're heavy or something like a big milestone like um I don't know I'm thinking like like empty nest or you know what I mean like when when your kids leave home or something and you're just like oh man I'm not looking forward to when my kids leave the house it's gonna be so such an empty house without them or whatever or or like, you know, like maybe being old, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm not looking forward to when my hair falls out and I'm going to be all bald or, you know what I mean? Like something, something that doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, it's super impactful and it's something you know is coming up. You know what I mean? Like you could see it with the three, you know, the three of wands, you can, you can see it out there in the distance. All right. Or even like if you're at work. Let's say you're a supervisor or a manager, or whatever, and like there's a problem problem employee, and you know eventually you're gonna have to fire them, but you're totally dreading it because you just hate doing it. You know what I mean? You're like, man, it's like such an uncomfortable thing. I hardly ever have to fire people. Not looking forward to it. You know. All right, you get the picture. All right, so here this placement right here, Aries, is what strengthens your bell and your bell is basically just like a like a protection you know it's something that's that helps you out right it's so this bell is going to help you out with this gremlin right here so what strengthens your bell right here is seven of swords 
Okay, and the Seven of Swords is not, it's not showing all of your, it's not showing your whole hand, right? Don't show all your cards. Like, you don't, it's like, if you're nervous, you know, if, if you're nervous about this, like, you don't have to tell everyone and their mom how nervous you are about it, right? Or like, let's say if you are, you know, if you do know you're going to have to fire someone, like, you, you don't, you don't really show the employee, like, you don't get emotional with it, right? Like, you don't, you, you just have to, like, rip off the band-aid, right? You know what I mean? So there's something that needs to be held back, because he's, like, got this sword behind his back. It's like, there is a, there, there's something, there's something that needs to be held back that actually strength, it's like it makes the situation like not as bad. It's kind of like a but like a buffer. Some kind of there's some kind of buffer that strengthens your bell and it involves holding back something. So like not I, I wanna say holding back some drama maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be different for everybody. But, um, this here, right, this card right here, this placement is the gap. This is the gap. This is how the gremlin gets in. This is how, like, how we kind of allow that gremlin in. And your gremlin entry point here is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is really quick. I'm like, this dude's running. He's running like he is racing to finish something. So it's, it's getting ahead of yourself. Oh, shit, that makes total sense. Aries, so you could have situations that you're looking out into the future. They could be years away. And it's it's almost like you you waste your energy. It's like wasting energy worrying about it too soon. Like, there's nothing you can do about it right now. Or, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's something, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's like being worried for two years you know, two years before this thing happens, and it's like, there. think of all that happiness and fun and memories that you could create during those two years, but instead you were worried the whole time up to this event, when really, I mean, the worry and the stress and the, uh, is, it really should just be more surrounded over and when it's time, you know what I mean? It's like, borrowing stress is what what I'm describing. Borrowing stress. Borrowing worry. It's like you're you're bringing it in way too early. Getting ahead of yourself. That's how the gremlin gets in. Okay. So, Aries here at the top of the bell. This is your connection to the bell. What connects you to this bell? <coughs> Alright. I need her to drink. Nine of Cups, sweet. All right, so you have the Nine of Cups here. And it's it kind of feels like, like an explosion of accolades here. Like attaboys, kind of like pat yourself on the back. Oh, look how far you've come. That's so cool. So it's look how far you've come. These, <laughs> this is so cool because this, the connection here to your bell is generally a spiritual connection, right? To your to your maker, the divine, the universe, your guides, what have you. And through your connection with your divine self, it's like you are being you're being given all of these accolades. Like look at all of these milestones that you've experienced in your life. It was like you lived through them, you handled them, you're still alive, Aries. It's like, yeah, there's gonna be times when you're faced with another one, but it's not every day, you know? It's like, this is total freaking encouragement. Your your guides or whatever are coming in and they're they're trying to encourage you They're trying to encourage you. Okay, so this here, this this encouragement connection you have, 
we're going to see how you actually use the connection. It could also be how you use the bow. Seven of spheres. All right, um, we have seven of spheres, so that would be like seven of pentacles. What I'm noticing on this card here is that like you have this, it's like you have this tree, right? I mean, it could very well be like your personal Yggdrasil tree or something, right? But this insane, I mean, it, insane root system. This is crazy, like this tree is old. It's old AF, right? And it's it's ancient. It's been there forever. Look how I mean. Look how fat the roots are. It's not just those little stringy roots. This is this has been there for a long time, and it's like this is kind of like um soul, soul. Like this isn't just this life. It's your soul. It's like tapping into tapping into your true essence, and that's how you use this connection right here. Is you use this to tap into your true essence and it's like your true essence is what can can shine these achievements so bright for you that you won't be a you don't put you don't want to put your hands over your eyes you know what I mean it's almost like this connection also fortifies your bell as well and here it's like you notice how there's this person can you oh, I'll throw in the card can you see? Can you see the little person? It's like sometimes you might feel small. Like I can't, you know what I mean? Like I feel small, I can't handle this. And that's when this connection, that's when you use this connection and go, wait a minute. I have done this, I have done that, I've done that. I can get through this, right? Cool, okay. So the last card, Aries, we have what we have here is the ringing. It's the ringing of the bell, right? So you ring the bell, ding dong, the gremlin's gone, okay? It, it's what knocks that gremlin out of here. So we're going to see what that is for you. What knocks the gremlin out? Ooh, so we have four of cups. I was not expecting that. We have four of cups. I do like that we have two fours. It's like the gremlin is a four, and it takes another four to knock it out. It's like, and four is that stable number. It's like stability versus stability. Stability can overcome stability. And I, which to me makes me think that stability can overcome fixation. This is fixation. This can be more of like the stability. Because you see how these cups are stacked? This isn't that droopy, this isn't that droopy, bummed out Four of Cups feeling, right? It's like these cups are big, there's magic in every one of them, they're stacked, they're also mirroring each other. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stability in this card. And look, he's, he's just able, he's able to just hover in the middle of there in that sweet spot. It's like using that. Using that sweet spot, that stability to knock out, to knock out this right here. That's pretty cool. All right. So Aries, this is your Gremlin Bell reading. And um, as far as bonus readings go, I did not see, I didn't really see any cards here that uh, meet the criteria for a bonus reading this round. Basically, if a, um, if the real... If the crap, some of the, what people think of as the crappier cards come out, like, you know, Tower, Devil, Death, uh, Nine and Ten of Swords, or Three of Swords, if any of those cards came out, I was going to do a bonus, and I don't see them here, so this is, this is it, this is it for you for this round, Aries, but, um, I hope this helped in some way or clarified something for you, or just maybe interesting, I don't know. And uh, I will I will see you later. Don't forget to embrace your inner mystic.